What's good, YouTube? We are back again with another video, and I'm really excited, man. I actually haven't done a video in quite some time, so it's good to get back in front of the camera or in front of my phone and just give you guys something to watch. So, this is the Jason Tatum Jordan 36 Mustang PE. I have a couple of stories. So, I ordered originally a nine and a half, right? And the nine and a half came to the crib, it got delivered, but they restocked the 10. And the reason I ordered a nine and a half is because they didn't have a 10 in the first place. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'll deal with the nine and a half. But then they restocked the 10. I said, you know what? Let me get the 10 while it's still around. Got the 10. So I returned the nine and a half straight to the Nike store. I was able to look at the shoes just for a little bit, which was kind of dope to see because the cashier had to take the shoes out just to inspect them to make sure they weren't worn, make sure they were the proper sneaker. All right, cool. So now I'm waiting for the 10. 10 gets delivered. Right away, I notice something wild, suspicious. I see the box, totally messed up. Taped up on one side, but I know sometimes these Nike boxes are a little bit flimsy. So maybe a FedEx driver was doing a good deed and tightened up my box a little bit. I opened the box. I noticed the box itself looks a little dirty, like it's been on the floor, kicked around. Open the shoes and I got a pair of used sneakers. Somebody stole my sneakers, took them out, and then put a pair of used sneakers back in. It was a pair of Dub Zeros. I took a picture of it. Nike actually gave me no hassle. I said, Nike, this is the deal. This is what's happening. And they said, you know what? We're going to ship you a 10 right away, which is this 10 right here that you're going to see. Thank you for Nike for that. They didn't ask for a ring camera alert. They didn't ask for anything. I called FedEx just to give them a heads up, like, yo, whether it's your delivery driver, which I highly doubt, or whether it's somebody at one of the FedEx hubs, somebody's stealing somebody's sneakers. So now we get to where we're at here, right? The Jordan 36 is after Jason Tatum's Mustang. And I wanna give a super duper special shout out to 23.4 Life Collection. So this dude has an amazing collection. I'm gonna put his link down below. I'll put his Instagram down below. He had bought the Jason Tatum Mustang 36s, but he also has a Mustang. So he's giving me all these pictures of how they basically took pieces of the Mustang and put them onto the sneaker. The emblems, the three stripes that you guys are gonna see. I mean, it looks so cool when you see some of these pictures. So I'm gonna stop the video here. I'm gonna show you a couple of the pictures that he sent me so you guys can see. And just to see now the creativity that Jordan Brand put between this sneaker, the Mustang, and the Jordan 36s, all right? So take a look at these photos. So now let's get to the kicks, right? I've been chatting, chatty patty way too damn much they gave us a regular jordan 36 box so if you guys aren't familiar with the boxes i actually like this style of box i really don't love the 37 box man the 37 box is a little bit too flimsy they have this sleeve that's damn near pointless i wish they kind of kept this box but it is what it is and then you have on the label size 10 jordan 36 jason tatum pe right pretty dope and then we open. Whew. These are f I ain't gonna hold you. Now I know I say this with a lot of Jordan 36s, but these are tough. These are tough. So we are going to lace this one up. Here we have it, right? This little pillow, I don't know why they put it on there, but they do. <laughs> okay, let me put on this light real quick so you guys can see it. Boom. I want to make sure it is shining. All right. So you have the Jordan 36 right here. Okay. So as you guys may notice right off the bat, you have the Lino weave. You have some glossy material, patent leather actually on the shoe, which is crazy. A little bit of leather on the lace patch, but I guess we could start with the emblem. Okay. So if you guys notice, I'm going to try to put it as close as I can. You have Jason Tatum with the Jumpman logo and the Mustang 
emblem. So this little three stripes is something that comes on Mustangs, right? You have silver and black throughout the sneaker. You see the patent leather shining, okay? And then on the back, you have 36, again, in that tricolor look. You have the red on the back. Gives me Jordan 14 vibes as the brake lights. Same thing as well on that. Nike Air on the back. Again, you get that patent leather throughout the heel. Very clean. Then they added a nice little leather on this lace patch as well. So not no felt, not plastic or anything like that, which I think is pretty dope. Gives you that nice luxurious feel to it. You know, reminds you of maybe what a car seat would be like. And again, I think this may be modeled after the car seats in the car itself. We get wax laces. They do have a little bit of inner threading to them, which is pretty dope. And then on the Lino weave, you guys can see here, and I'm glad they kept the Lino weave on this. As far as performance, the Lino weave to me is a lot nicer than some of the other fabrics they use. But you had this glossy fuse that you see here. Patent leather around the laces. You have actual metal aglets. So we get a hair test, right? A little patent leather hits on the side. These are crazy. These are crazy. On the inside of the tongue, you have Deuce, which is his son's name. Pretty cool. And then you have Jason on the inside of the footbed. There you go. And the other one says Tatum. You do have the silver eclipse plate. Black and silver, kind of tough. Definitely would go great with some Raiders jerseys or, you know, something like that. These are tough, man. Patent leather on the tongue, 36 right here. I am feeling these. And as far as this one, the only real difference is the Tatum on the insole All right so that one has his first name this one has his last name and then just look at that beautiful looking emblem man so this represents the gas tank and i'll show you a picture that 234 life collection sent me so this is what a gas tank cap on a Mustang looks like. I believe from his 69 Mustang. It was crazy. Such a dope collector. Such a dope, dope cars, dope stuff. So definitely give him a follow, man. One of my favorites to follow, period. So with that being said, bro, this is the Jordan 36, man. These are dope. These are tough. Jason Tatum PE. He's actually won these on court. I have a picture of him wearing these on the court. So I'll put that up as well. But yeah, these are fire. Definitely glad to have them in the collection now I went a little bit crazy on the jordan 36s i don't think i'm gonna go crazy on the jordan 37s i just don't think it's a nice enough looking model in my opinion to justify it maybe there'd be some cool pe's i've seen a black playoff colorway that looks like the black playoff seven um that one looks all right maybe nice pair to play basketball in i'm gonna say the 36 is a little bit nicer looking in my opinion hope you guys enjoyed this video glad to be back I took about a week off, maybe a little bit more. So glad to be back and shooting some videos. I cleared some space in the room. So you know a lot of these fit videos are going to be coming up soon. And I can't wait to show you guys that. Kobe jerseys with Jordan 3s. I already put up a fire red Jordan jersey fit video. We've got some things that we're going to look forward to in the near future. And on that note, we out. Signing off. Peace.